Hello everybody, welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Flash here in the bottom left hand corner, Jadong in the bottom right, and if you've been enjoying all the Flash content lately, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see Brood War live forever, you know what to do. Smash that like button, give it a little love tap for me. We've got Jadong versus Flash once again, of course. We had an earlier series, I'll put a little link up here. For you guys to go check that series out it was slightly flash favored surprisingly flash convincing wins over jadon in that series but it's been a couple weeks it's been a little while jadon since that series has been looking better and better honestly every time i've seen him play whether that's been in kcm or otherwise it seems like he might have a little fire in his belly after uh, seeing his old rival back in town. Seeing his old rival back in the saddle. Playing some ladder games and... He might be uh, feeling that competition. So that's awesome to see. I would welcome, you know, an in-shape Jadong. Uh, someone who can get to like a late stage of the ASL. It didn't seem like he really had that drive in the last couple of years. Like he's been in, he's been back, but he didn't really seem like he wanted it. You know, he's had so much success in Brood War. He's such a big name. People respect him all over the world. What, what, What's really the benefit of taking home another ASL victory? But when he saw Flash, I don't know, maybe something stirred inside of him and he wants, maybe he's going to want to get back in the saddle and really try to win another ASL. By the way, I just put an announcement up on my channel that there is a brand new uh, Star League that's going to be starting up in the next year. It's very exciting. If you missed that post, there's something called the... PSL it's the premier star league and it's going to be starting in 2025 so you know a great replacement possibly for the KSL we haven't really seen another big premier tournament uh for brood war since the KSL went away so I'm really excited about that I think the players are going to be quite hype about that as well there's just too much time in between the ASLs, the ASL seasons. Uh, of course, we've got the KCM and stuff to fill that time in, but it's uh, it's great to have another tournament. And, you know, maybe we'll see more uh, great contenders coming back to the scene. You know, wouldn't it be amazing to have uh, Fantasy back in there? Like uh, some of these other great players as well. There's so many, like Jeng B and stuff like that, to come back to the scene. With Flash and Jadong going head-to-head -head in an ASL, I mean, anything can happen. It's a new golden age of Brood War, and I've been ignoring this game a little bit so far, so let's get into it. We've had a 1-Rex FE here from Flash. He's following up with a Factory, so he's going to be going for some sort of mech play. Potentially, uh, the Starport into a... Oh my goodness. I mean, this wall is just completely tight. We're not going to get in there with all these links that are popping out. He's making four more sets. This is a little bit worrisome. Potentially into Valkyrie and possibly Valkyrie into Mech, which is what we've seen out of Flash a little bit more recently. And he's not going to move out with this. If he moves out with this, that would be absolutely insane. He's just going to go for it. Oh my goodness. He's trying to run by here. We've seen this from Jadong actually in the KSL or in the KCM very recently. He went for a play almost exactly like this, and it did not work at all. I believe that was against Barracks. But here, I mean, maybe he gets the kill. It's really close right now. We should have this landed to make a Vulture. Yeah, he finally does start a Vulture. A little bit surprised that he didn't make that originally. It would have helped out a lot. But yeah, there's too much Ling damage now. All the SCV is going down. Looks like Flash is going to get ripped apart. Ah, uh, he thought he was safe behind that wall, but not the case. 
Daydog is going to get in here and deal so much damage. There's almost no shot of coming back. We're at 20 workers to the 16 uh, drones, but seven mutas are on the way. So, yeah, we're even losing more. We're down to 18 workers at this point. Another worker going to go down? Not quite. The engineering bay will finish, but it's too late. As soon as it finishes, he's going to start some turrets. He has the Goliath on the way, but seven mutas are about to hit here. And there's really no hope for a flash. This is very interesting that we're seeing this right now. Because we saw almost the exact same game play out. Um, with Jadong versus Barracks. Like I said, in the KCM and... It went completely a different way, of course. It was not the mech play, not the uh, Valkyrie in the mech play from Barracks in that series. But here he was trying to do this uh, interesting style that we've seen from him. He played this against HM, actually, just a couple of days ago. We watched that. So really interesting to see that this does have some serious glaring weaknesses. Especially on this map, Citadel, you've got the pretty wide choke here on the left side of the Supply Depot. Plus this choke here. I mean, it's not a perfect wall. And can absolutely be exploited. Maybe with a bit of a better SCV pull, perhaps? A little bit better Marine Micro, maybe he could have held this better? If he had just had the factory on the ground, he could have made a Vulture immediately. And that would have helped out a lot as well. But this is just a nice straight up uh, all in mutilist play from Jadong. You can see he's only got one drone. When he played against Barracks and this didn't work, the Lings didn't get in and deal that critical damage. He ended up with, you know, one drone in the natural, no third base, and the mutilist just got wrecked. So he really didn't uh, get much done. But you can see here, this is exactly what it's meant to do is just break open the Terran player before they get online with whatever shenanigans they're going to be pulling out and let's see if flash goes for the same build we've got a whole series here between these two should be a lot of fun so let's jump into game number two opening up this series with some wild aggression into a quick win jadong sets the tone and the pace for this series between himself and his former rival flash maybe his newfound rival his uh rediscovered rival here in the top right hand corner He's going to be putting out a wall here at the front on Polypoid. Pretty standard stuff coming out of Flash, although the follow-up has not been standard at all. It's looked powerful in some of these games, but there are some weaknesses that can be exposed when it comes to Flash's mech play. It hasn't been infallible in these series so far. And so... Jadong finding a way in. This time, it's not going to be as easy to pull apart Flash's early game. He's going to have a pretty decent wall. I think he's got a little bit too much space in between this wall to get a perfect a link tight wall at the front. But he's going to have a very tight choke. And as long as he's got enough Marines, and if he goes for that play again, the Valkyrie play, he should be okay. Same exact build thus far from Jadong. Not adding on any extra drones uh, after the 12 hatch, 11 pool, right into 10 gas. Gives him a pretty darn quick layer. So let's see what he wants to do with it. Does he want to go for more Ling aggression? I doubt it, but we'll see. He's going to get in here and see the front of Flash's base. Flash has this Marine taking. I've seen Flash a lot of times build this Marine and then cancel it at the last second if the drone doesn't show up. Uh, so that's a little, a cute little thing that Flash does. It's not going to come into play this game. But he will start a second Marine and send this first Marine a little bit out on the map just to control some space. Lings are going to be out in a moment. Just a single set. And Flash going to be in here scouting out everything that pops for Jadong. Making sure that he is safe. With this little gap here. It's a little bit hard to decipher what's exactly coming. He's going to get spotted by the Overlord. 
moving out with a couple of naked marines so he does decide to back off that's a little bit funny that is not stuck by the way i don't think that is just brood war pathing for you scv here running on behind the mineral patches and keeping an eye on the eggs that's really what he's trying to do here he's just trying to make sure that he can see what is going to be popping out here not in a great position to scout that right now and he will get taken out so jadong could you know start to build up a good link count and he does have two more sets in production the marines are coming into the front this is a pretty risky play here from flash and i think he's just going to get completely punished for this oh if he gets a drone no not going to get a drone unless he targets one drone goes down a second drone goes down can he get the third there is one that's very low he doesn't target it so that will not get taken out two drones for what was that four marines i can't say that that was worth it that was pretty bad for flash um he's just not gonna have the marine count he's going for a two racks play though behind this so none no craziness no really fast factory or anything like that no Valkyrie play just yet this game. It's going to go two fact or two two barracks, excuse me. And start to put on the pressure. Well, the eBay going to come down at 4 minute 50, which should be just in the nick of time here to get those turrets out and deflect the mutilisk aggression that comes from Jadong. Jadong going to take the base here down at the bottom left. Now I'm going to change the uh, colors here so don't don't uh, get too dis uh, disoriented as we are now red zerg and blue terran i just want you guys to be able to see plagues if they end up coming out a little bit later on uh, works a little bit better if the terran player is not red sunken colony gonna finish up just in time second sunk is not quite there yet but we've only got one medic here with one fire bat it's great if your opponent decides to build one just one sunken and builds like 10 lings to try and hold on but it's not so great if there's two sunkens and i feel i can't help but feel that jadong has over defended here he's built you know full 12 lings there's uh 14 and he built two sunken colonies so his drone count is severely limited limited and he's popping out mutas but it's at a very slow rate just slowly adding those on Whereas Flash is all the way back at home. He's building turrets. He's getting set up. Has his plus one on the way. I gotta say, Flash is gonna be feeling pretty darn good at this point in the game. Uh, we're just gonna be able to afford... You can see the mineral count is so low compared to the gas that's banked up. That's because the drone saturation is so poor here at the natural. He's gonna have to build drones and mine for minerals for a good amount of time before he can take this third gas uh, which is not the position you want to be in so the the pressure play from flash actually did a lot it really did it slowed down jadong significantly in this game and jadong now building up this mutilus count not taking the greatest trade here so far almost losing one of the first mutas he doesn't have oh he's actually got six mutas so he made a mistake with the micro there oh and another mistake this is another muta to go into the red which is desperately close to a, a loss here he does pull back again no kill on any of these marines the targeting not the greatest coming in with the links though he did have the 12 links and where did the fire bat go it's way down here that could have been very helpful when it came to defeating this little uh attack here oh the fire bat over at the base gonna drive away the drones for now one muta does pop out though and prevents any drones from falling the gas is now online and jadong is beginning to harass but there is that fire bat over here at the bottom center ready to run in and there it goes it's going to be sent in just as the mutas start to aggress here on the main base flash has lost a big chunk of bio he's got a factory up i'm not sure what exactly he scanned there he scanned the natural just to see and he sees the queen's nest starting so he knows the timing he does know the timing on not only the Hydralis Den and Lurkers, but he's also going to know the timing of the Hive in the main base. So that's great. Great information. 
for Flash. He's really trying to get some drone kills here. He does force everything back, which is amazing. These drones are going to finally go back to mining. And he hasn't really taken any damage from harassment uh, from these mutas. So this position is not as good as it was before he lost that bio ball, but it's still pretty reasonable. He's hanging in there. He's going to have some timings here where he could potentially deal a lot of damage. You can see the hive has just started. We don't have that uh, factory on the ground right now, so there's no possibility of a tank push. Second star port is finishing up, and that science facility is going to be done here as well in just a moment. Will he build any drop ships and try to go for that type of aggression? Maybe, maybe not going to depend on the pace of this game here. Ooh, another group of links coming up and actually going to wipe out this force again. That is pretty painful here for Flash. He is going into five factory or five uh, barracks. I keep mi mixing those two up. Going into five barracks, but he doesn't fully have that online just yet. He was on two and three barracks for quite some time. And so... He hasn't been able to replenish this Marine Medic count quite to the standard as he would like. Not as many Marines and Medics popping out here um, to fully reinforce these positions. He needs a little bit more production. And now that he's got that online, he will be able to field a really big army of Medic and Marine. But I think it's time to wait for Science Vessel before pushing out again. There are the Lurkers down at the bottom left. Jadong is looking very good right now. Despite some little hiccups in the early game and uh, some overreactions from him, he's done a great job of shutting down the Marine Medic play from Flash. He's got his Burled Lurkers in a stack at both bases. Gonna have three at each base, plus Sunkins as well. Drone number is really starting to get high. And the Defiler Mound is just about done. Only Science Vessels on the way for Flash right now. He's going to try and play straight up. Which I wouldn't expect anything less from him. Gambling it all on a dropship play. Uh, to try and come back right now. I don't think that's Flash's style. I think he'll just be okay with playing from behind. And try to out control and out maneuver Jadong in this game. Whether that results in a victory or not, I think he's going to be okay with that. He's not, you know, too worried about taking a loss here in a ladder game. Oh, great dodging there. Science Vessel almost getting taken out. That was a well-calculated risk there from Jadon. Trying to snipe that vessel right at the front of the base. He lost a few extra mutas. But hey, if the Scourge weren't so stupid with their AI, he definitely would have gotten at least one of those vessels. Or would have gotten that one vessel for sure. Just a little bit unfortunate. Um, with the AI there just kind of stopping right as it was about to connect. We've got one dropship here at the front. There's the second. He's going to be taking a base over here at the center right. He'll probably take the natural in the front as well. Picking up some units and... Starting to head out on the map now. More scans going down. He doesn't know that there's a group of mutas just below this position. Could end up getting caught out if he's not careful. Dropship's right there. Overlord hasn't really seen anything just yet. He's moving out with kind of an interesting force towards the middle of the map. Hitting that stim button. He's going to try and run up on these mutas. But it looks like the command center could be denied. Some irradiates have gone down, but underneath the Overlord. Can't really get too much value out of that. Oh, dropships come in. They see the uh, Scourge and immediately back away. Double D Matrix is a good play to get through this. Let's see if he can fully unload as a result of using that. And he will. Look at that. The Matrix is sick. Now coming in with the... F okay, it's not going to bring up the um, vessels here. You should really bring these forward and uh, start to irradiate some of this stuff. Pretty okay plague there. 
Did miss the, the majority of the chunk of army there. And this CC is still be being denied over at the center right. So although Flash is doing a good job of denying the base down here in the bottom left, he's also kind of getting slowed down right now. We've got one dropship. Do we lose the other? Might have actually gone down. I didn't see it. I might picture and picture that a little bit later. Here comes the full group of army from Jadon. Gonna get underneath this underneath this dark swarm and take out all of these marines. Well played there. He will get that fourth base online eventually. Just needs to get this drone into position. Unfortunately, lost that defiler there. What does he have over at this natural? Triple lurker underneath the overlord. Gonna have to uh, irradiate the overlord and you can see Jadong already moving the second overlord into position to see if he can't uh, deny even further irradiates on this. Gonna come forward, drop a, uh, that's kind of funny. All right, just barely enough uh, scourge there to deal with that. Dro <laughs> Burrow starts immediately after. Yeah, you want to get that upgrade. Burrow, very, very important in this matchup. So crazy whenever I see people not get that. So he is going to get Burrow right now. And a bit of a cute, cheeky play there from Flash. Dropping in a Radiate and a D-Matrix on one of those vessels. Trying to get the Eraser trick going, but... Again, the perfect counter from Jadong, and Jadong is looking fantastic right now. I've, I've got to say, he's looking so, so good. Going to come and try to get an Irradiate here for free. Backing away. We're very soon going to be going into a whole bunch of Ultras. But Battle Cruisers are starting to increment out now. The upgrades here are 2-1 on the Bio. What do we have here? 1-1 one, one on the Zergling. One carapace, one attack. So, I mean, pretty even on the upgrades. It's not that much different. We're about to finish plus two carapace, and plus three is about 75% of the way done. So, staying ahead of the curve, at least, is Flash, but now losing some more vessels over here. That is that is painful. Losing a bunch of vessels. We're going to have some mutas fly through. See if they can't dive on top of some of these uh, damaged vessels. He might even get this one right here. Oh, he's going to get that. Oh, yeah. He's going to get that for sure. That is worth. That is mega worth. Very good job there by Jadong. You rarely see uh, players with this much multitasking control, like searching around everywhere for those uh, plagued vessels. Most of the time, they're too busy back at home controlling their own stuff. But Flash hasn't been able to put on a whole lot of pressure this game and he's kind of walking into this well that is unfortunate i'm not sure what's taking his attention right now i don't know maybe his mom called him or something not 100 percent sure on that one quite a few marines end up going down at the front and ultras are going to start to pop out here oh my gosh that's a lot of ultra we don't have speed just yet. That's a very important upgrade. He's actually going to hide the ultras down here in the bottom left, it looks like. Try to stick them in a spot where it's hard for the vessels to get to. And have the Scourge out here in the front ready to dive. Whoa, double D-Matrix battle crews are coming in with some drops as well. Triple, four drops, in fact. I think four drops are going to actually head towards the main. Is that right? That seems a little crazy. I thought the battle cruisers were there to open up a position and you know allow the drops to get off but he's actually going to go full into the main base with these drops and there are so many lings and ultras to help clean this up i don't think this is going to go well at all let's see what kind of damage he can do right now because i mean his battle cruisers are getting wrecked they're just going to die to some spores that's a lot of ultras and they've almost got speed done some drones did go down we're down to 44 um, looks like he went for an eraser trick here, but the burrow came in clutch down at the bottom left natural. Trying to do an eraser here as well, but drones are just going to burrow. Dude, Jadong is controlling this game so well. I'm really impressed. He is handling this fantastically, and I mean, this is not great, but 
That's just one Marine. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Eventually, he will break through that. And the Ultra number is so high. It is so high right now. It's scary how many Ultras he's able to field. How many is this? Is this 12? It's 11 Ultras heading down towards bottom right. You think this is going to be able to hold it? Maybe with like four medics on this ramp, maybe he could hold it. Four medics and a floating building would actually hold this. Um, but that's not the case. He does not have this. Does not have this set up in time. And he's just going to have to lift off. Maybe he can trap all the the uh, ultras down here. Maybe that's going to be the case. Or take them like a little bit by a little bit. Hiding some marines back behind the mineral patch is kind of funny. And he's cleaning up the ultras here on the low ground. Blocking with some SCVs as well. That's some pretty good stuff. Some pretty good moves. We've got a battle cruiser here. Um, maybe going to be able to take out this extractor over at the natural, which would be good. It's still got a thousand gas in it. So taking out one gas uh, for the Zerg player would be a pretty big deal. Looks like he might actually get it. And a lot of Scourge are being pull pulled together to maybe kill this. But it doesn't go down. And the Ultras down here are going to get cleaned up. And let me remind you, that was 11 Ultras. It's now three. So... Uh, a lot of the power has gone out of the Zerg army, and I don't know how many Ultras are actually left at this point. Yeah, these are still uh, on the loose. They're still dealing some damage, but they will be picked off, especially if he quickly targets down the low HP one. There we go. Coming over towards the natural, we've got a Defiler and a few Ultras here. Going to make a real mess for Flash to clean up. He hasn't invested in a lot of uh, Fire Bats here either. So this could be very difficult to clean. Some irradiates going down on all this. The irradiate actually helping the Ultralis deal a lot of extra damage right now. Look at how quickly these Marines die when an irradiated Ultralis is involved. Here comes some Mutas. Just to finish this off, he will eventually get this gas back up and mining, but that is a significant slowdown. However, getting into the natural main Maybe more of a problem right now for Flash. He's got some more Marines popping out here. These are very low. But yeah, he starts to lose everything. He's lost control of the natural. It's just a pretty straightforward rally game from Jadong from this point on. So he taps out. Jadong takes another victory. And this was not an easy victory, guys. This is proving my point of what I was talking about at the beginning of this cast. That Jadong... After losing that series against Flash earlier on this week, or last week, he has turned things around. He's really practicing hard. He is playing a lot better. Look at him coming back from that early aggression that he had when he had hardly any drones. If you remember, he was struggling. Flash looked to be in a dominating position. And Jadong brought this one back with just clean play. Lots of Scourge in the right places at the right times. Very good defensive Zerg play. Getting himself into late game and Ultralis and having all the Lurkers and Overlords over top of them. Everything perfect. It's exactly what you need to do to beat Flash. Let's see if he can keep it up here going into game number three. Okay, game number three. Flash down in the bottom right hand corner. Bottom left hand corner, excuse me. Let me change the color. Oh. Well, that's a shame. I can only change it to white. Let's go with white. We've got Jadong here in the bottom right. Hot off a very good game, but Flash down here. He's cracking his knuckles right now, guys. He's saying, all right, I see you. Jadong, you've been practicing. It's time for me to kick it up a notch. Let's kick it up a gear. He was able to take down Jadong pretty handily about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. I know I'm all over the place, but just a little while ago, it seemed like Flash was far superior. Even after such a long hiatus, coming back to the scene, he was able to kind of beast Jadong in that series. Jadong seems to be taking things a little bit more seriously now. See if Flash can find his footing once again and take down Jadong. Get a win off of him at least in this long series. We've got almost the same exact build from Flash with almost the exact same wall off. Actually, it might be exactly the same wall off here. 
at the front. And if you remember, Marines here and here blocking off these entrances. Didn't end up working out too well for Flash in that game, but maybe he wants to stick with the same game plan. Just make a couple of alterations. Like, for example, put an SCV right here. If you've got three Marines behind an SCV at the front, it makes it so much harder to break through. It just buys you that little extra time to pull your SCVs off the natural mineral line and get them into the wall. Uh, bare seconds is all you need to make something like that happen. It's the same spawn position as well for Jadong down here. How funny is that? That is kind of wild. Hope this isn't exactly the same game. It says that it's not, but <laughs> it's looking so similar right now. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. But in deja vu. Let's see if he goes for a factory again. And how many lings Jadong decides to build. Nice block here. So the SCV comes in for the scout. Just going to be able to get in here and just see what's up. No lings popped out just yet. But Jadong going to get to work here in the natural. Two marines heading across the map. Now this overlord should have spotted that. And if it did, we would have another set of lings okay there's another set of lings coming now it's a little bit late we need four lings to defeat these three marines that's for sure especially with the uh, scv assistance could get a little dicey but now that the scv has been driven out the lings are chasing that the marines are actually going to head home so a third set of lings is going to come up now for jadong and a Hydradan. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. I wonder what he's going to do with this Hydradan. It feels like it's going to be... Okay, second barracks. Whew, thank God. All right, this is a different game for sure. Um, if the Hydralis Den didn't uh, tip you off, then definitely the lack of factory here would be a clear indicator going to catch this SCV in just a moment as the Ling speed finishes. Not building many drones in this game. That is for sure. He is going all in Hydralisk attack or Lurker attack. Excuse me. Going to try and bust down this wall. Get in here and kill Flash before he's even ready. Uh, before he has anything set up and prepared. We've got the Hydralisk lurker upgrade just about done here and academy is going to finish up so medics will start to come out we'll have stim on the way but we don't have bunkers in the front and that's really what you need to hold off an attack like this is a couple of those bunkers out here there's the lurkers just about to morph kind of an interesting position to be morphing them in i feel like even if you're just walking along here with Marines, you could spot this. Building them out here would be a little bit... Like, it's almost the same distance. But it's very unlikely that the Marines are going to move out in that direction. Let's see which way he decides to move out in this game. <sighs> okay, yeah, he's going to go this way. Let's see it. Yeah, he's going to see the eggs. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. I mean, Jadong has a lot of lings, so maybe he can come in from both sides. Hit this Marine Medic right as the Lurkers pop out. That would be pretty sick. Let's see if it happens. Getting right up here. Close in on this battle. Jumps on top of the Marines. It's actually killing so many. And the Lurkers are all still well alive. Got plenty of HP left over. Would do well to unburrow the, the two that are still in high HP. And he does burrow first the one that has low HP. He's driving everything back. And has still some lings to fight this. Two bunkers are done, though. Flash spotted this quickly enough. Then he was able to get these bunkers down. We've got a Queen's Nest on the way. So all hope is not lost for Jadong just yet. But he is still very much all in. He will be throwing down a third base, it looks like. So maybe giving himself a bit of an out, potentially. But I think that he just wants to get five, five lurkers here at the front as quickly as possible and get into his hive, his uh, defiler mound, 
as soon as humanly possible. Get that Defiler to the front and try to win this game. Yeah, the drone is going to get pulled back. Look at that. Interesting. He's realized this position is dire and that there's probably no way to play this out in a long game if he gets a third base. He just needs to win right now. He needs to kill. The factory is finished. It's going to start its add-on. A starport begins as well. This is the ticking timer for the Lurker play. As soon as we get a tank out, It's just about lights out for these lurkers. We have Hive halfway complete, but I just, I don't think he's going to be able to make this work. Flash is a little bit too robust with this double turret or double bunker and a turret at the front. He doesn't have, okay, he's got two scans ready. He could even scan and just pull the trigger on trying to kill this. Is he going to risk it though? If he loses all of his Marines... Could make things a lot harder for him going forward. The Hive is finishing, but as you can see, tanks and siege mode just about done. A few more Lurkers show up. Now it's seven Lurkers here at the front. A little bit more formidable for Flash to try and take out with Marines. It would be very hard. Can't hit this one Lurker. Ooh. Trying to do a scan and run forward there, but way too many lurkers for that to be viable. Being pushed back. Trying to take trades right now. Another scan going to come down. He's going to pull the trigger on trying to move forward with these Marines, but he's in kind of a tight position here. If Jadong unburrows everything and runs forward. Do we think he could actually kill this big marine clump and the two tanks? Oh, it's a little bit dangerous. He's trying to move forward in range of the tank. Try to pick that off. The tank is taking quite a bit of damage. It will go down. The marines running out here are going to spread and split. Very nice control by Flash. Going up onto the high ground. Pure marine. Not going to be able to break that. He just backs away, but he's opened up a path. This is the most important part. He opens up this path so that he can get in here and prevent the defilers from making their way to the natural. That is the key to victory. A couple of scourge are available, but the lurkers are going to go down over on that high ground. Oh my goodness. Now that last single lurker spine really did a number on those marines, but we've got consume just about done. Lurkers here at the front. But the containment is gone. We cannot, can no longer contain the Terran player. He's going to try to run around and reestablish the contain with Dark Swarm at the front. But it's going to be very hard. He doesn't have Dark Swarm done yet. And he's, his food is getting eaten. His food is getting cooked. He's going to lose these um, links to the fire bat. And now he's got nothing to consume. Maybe even pull back this Overlord and just consume that. Might be a good idea. Not enough energy for an Irradiate to shut down uh, this Defiler. But Marine and Medic are moving around this. And he finally throws down a, a Dark Swarm. Whoa. He loses another uh, Lurker there. He gets one Dark Swarm, but it's not good enough. GG is called. Jadong taps out. Little win here for Flash with Jadon going for kind of a crazy lurker all in. Flash scoffs at that play. He just bats it aside and moves on to game number four. Well, everybody's just about warmed up, I'd say, going into this next game here. We've got Flash over in the top left hand corner, Jadon in the bottom right, and a quick pool coming out of him this time. He's not messing around. Was not happy about the results of that last game. Of course, the position he decided to throw down his lurkers was a little bit obvious. It ended up getting spotted. It turned out okay, but still the defense was a little bit too good from Flash. The scan timing was on point. That's kind of the reason why we don't see certain players go for Hydralisk or Lurker bust that often anymore. It's just pretty easy to scout. And as soon as you know it's coming, pretty quick to counter. So Flash counters that perfectly. 
with a couple of bunkers, turret, and of course, a very quick factory. As soon as he finds out about that, right into factory, right into tank, everything works out fine for him. So here with Jadong getting a little bit cheeky, Lings being made, six Lings gonna be made here, starting this off. Could deal quite a lot of damage to Flash, right? We are gonna be popping out just before the SCV makes it to the bottom left. So he will not be able to scout this with this first SCV. This is gonna go right on by. And here once again on Citadel, Jadong is gonna have a bit of an advantage. And it could be actually a winning position if the SCVs don't get in the wall in time. That flash. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is he actually going to have it in the wall in time? Is he going to put it in the wall? Is he going to block it? Oh my gosh. Just in time here. The repair is good. Keeping these links out for as long as possible. He will end up losing the... Uh, Marines there, but oh great pullback on that one Ling. I mean not alive for an inordinate or inordinate amount of time. Really wants to start his CC now. But Jadong gonna continue to be annoying. The SCV is in the main base. He sees what's coming here, so no more Lings at least. He's confirmed that fact. Flash gonna start his gas, and although he's lost a couple of SCVs, was it really worth it for the amount of slowdown to Jadong, Jadong's economy? You know, he killed three Marines. He killed maybe two SCVs, maybe three SCVs, something like that. Could almost get this extra Marine, but not quite going to be able to. And the third base comes up over here at the center right. What's the follow-up play from Jadong, though? That's what I'm very curious about. Is he gonna... Maneuver this into a Guardian play? Guardian Hydra? Because some of these early pool builds, they struggle to get any traction with something like a follow-up Mutalis play or a follow-up, you know, Lurker play. Some of these plays that do require a lot of drones can just fall by the wayside against a well-prepared Terran player to try to block the SCV as it comes in here to the main, but he will get in. He sees that there's no Hydralis Den, but that's just not an indicator. The Hydralis Den could go down right now and it would still be fine. Lings diving in once again. Almost gets another Marine, but just loses those two Lings for free. These Marines have been sitting down here for a while waiting for that Overlord to try and make its path, make its run from this position over here to over top of the natural and Flash is blocking that for quite some time, but he's decided to pull the Marines together and go for a little push across the map. And yeah, Jadong may be looking towards a more scrappy play to follow this up. He will get the Spire. He does not have a second gas online just yet. He's built a few extra lings. He sent them out on the map, but he hasn't. Oh, he does see this with the Overlord. That's big, actually. The fact that he sees this right now with the Overlord, he even sees this one Medic trailing behind. If I'm Jadong, I'm actually going after that Medic. That Medic is a really nice target in this situation. He could just get the Marines before the Medic even joins up with the uh, with his buddies here, but okay. Just going to drive that back for now. A few more Lings pop out, and the Sunken Colony finishes. One at each base. Going to be good enough with the number of Lings he's made. Actually hold this back. Oh, not the greatest trade here with the links, but he gets the surround on the medic or on the fire bat. The medic not able to heal that. Down to just six uh, energy, by the way. Maybe a bit of an overcommitment with the second sunken colony. Could be. Yeah, uh, he's gonna try and run by with the fire bat. Oh, great surround there with the drones. He loses like two drones. But honestly, this is a perfect hold. Jadong with the quick pull off the line. That was a cheeky little play there. He knows he can't do anything. Oh, is he even gonna pull the drone to finish off the medic? Oh my goodness, that's so cheeky. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, get him. And he's gonna go back home to mine. Little drone there, little deputy drone. 
goes out and makes the arrest on his own. Back to work now. Gonna get some more minerals for the Overmind. Very well played. Very well held. He should have probably canceled the second Sunken Colony. This is the only thing I can see that, you know, might have been better for Jadong. The position might have been better for Jadong if he had an extra drone here and hadn't spent that money on the extra Sunken Colony. But other than that, things are looking very good for him from him. Wow, immediate transition from Jadong as well, by the way. Instantly throwing down Hydra's Den and Queen's Nest as the production of Mutilus begins. So he is going to have a very quick transition, likely into Hydra's Defiler. I think that's what we're going to be going for here. I personally really like Hydra's Defiler now that I've played it a bunch. I've been playing it more and more recently. I haven't been on the ladder very much, like uh, laddering and stuff, but when I was more active, I was really enjoying Hydralis Defiler. I'm a Hydralis Defiler enjoyer. Um, it's just a strong play. It, it gives you so much power in the mid game, and a lot of Terran players really struggle to fight against it. Uh, as long as you're hitting your macro cycles and making sure that you have defilers everywhere that you need them. It's it's a play like no other in this matchup. It just allows you to actually take space away from the Terran player. Whereas running around with lings and lurkers and uh, defilers before you get ultras out. It just doesn't hit the same way. It just does not hit the same way. You're mostly in a defensive position. Uh, and you're very immobile, so... I like to see it here from Jadong. He's got the second sunken colony over at the natural as well. Very safe play out of him. That's what I've been noticing throughout this series. Jadong plays it really, really safe against Flash. Adding on more links than is necessary and making sure he has extra sunken colonies. He's got the defenses up way before the Marines are coming. He's not cutting it close in any sense. It's just making sure that he's ready for everything. That Flash is not going to get any undue damage against him and snowball the game from there. It's been working out very well for him. He's got mostly wins here against Flash so far and now he's got 11 mutas flying into the main base. He hasn't built any upgrades for this. Two wraiths being made. What? Triple wraith? Oh my goodness, what is going on? I didn't even notice that third starport. That is wild. We're going to go up to eight wraiths. What are we going to do with them? I guess he's going to cloak and just try to kill every Muta. That's interesting. There is still the Overlord here. So yeah, that's not going to work out so good. He's going to bring the Marines over while trapping the wraiths or the, the Mutas here. But the Mutas have... Uh, avoided the wraiths they're not going to be able to get the moving shot and so the idea from flash was pretty good was an interesting choice a way to play this uh early game out really good control here by flash actually getting way more kills than expected actually going to kill a lot of these uh mutas but i think the, that this is it for the wraith play he just wanted to kill the mutas with this was it worth it I can't really say that it was. He does kill all of the mutas, and maybe he can get some more overlords. But the transition is well underway. It's not like he's going to be able to end the game with this play. We've got a, a spore colony. We have defiler and hydras. We've got some scourge out. Great micro here from Flash. Wow. Such good control out of him. And he's going to start to kill off some drones as well. Hydras are now out. We've got Hydra's speed uh, started, though it's not quite done yet. We've got a Lurker here uh, with the Defiler. Plague on the way. Defilers and Hydra's over here as well. Very scary stuff to deal with. Hydra's are actually being pushed back by the uh, Wraiths right now. But, I mean, these Wraiths have done quite a bit of damage. Like, they killed a lot of Overlords, and now they're one-shotting drones as well. Three, four. This is an interesting decision by Flash. This is super different from what I would have expected. 
Is the Dark Swarm. More wraiths have been added on. Even more wraiths. That's crazy. He's still going for that. Looks like he's going to lose another wraith there. Could come in and get a couple more snipes. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Where's the uh, Defiler, actually? Oh, there it is. Defiler in the main. Dark Swarm. There it is. Dark Swarm does come down. You can't actually hit the drones anymore. But this is enough damage. He's actually had to add so many spores as well. So Flash, I mean, he's making this work. Surprisingly. This is kind of a shocking game to me, honestly. I've never seen a play like this. Never in my life. This is so unique, so interesting. What we're getting out of this Flash game. Really getting our money's worth here. Stopping in to see Flash versus Jadong. You expect some interesting games, but I would not expect this one. I think we're going to get a plague on this eventually. There it is. The plague does go down. So with the plague, yeah, you're going to be shut out. Definitely going to have to leave this man alone for now. Um, the harassment has been insane, though. 32 drones still do remain, but I'm not sure exactly where all those are. Feels very light on the saturation. And a lot of them just popped out. I mean, it's only four drones here at the natural. That's pretty weak. We'll get these wraiths back to repair. It's going to cost a lot to repair these. And he's got triple starport going. But can only afford to produce off of two of them for now. He should be getting the third gas pretty soon. Not, um, not too long in the future. He should have that done. The overlords are starting to spread, but... Eventually, we are going to get the Wraiths back out on the field again. And in fact, he's going to get out here and catch these Lurkers on the re return. They're running back home. They get caught. That is a huge group of kills there. Picking off that many Lurkers for free. Always a boon for the Terran player. He's going to come forward and catch this Overlord. Wraiths don't need any health. They only need one HP if they're going to be killing... Overlords, that's for sure. Radiate comes in here. He gets it on one of the Defilers. We are going into Lurker Hydra Defiler play. For sure. But Flash is getting in here. He's doing a little damage. He's picking off a few Defilers here and there. He's got two already. And the Scourge were not sent forward to deal with that. So a little bit unfortunate here for Jadong as he starts to push out. He's getting those extra hatcheries now, finally. The macro hatch is coming online. Start to take some position on the map. Flash has already got his third base out, though. He's killing off his own turrets. Making space for these SCVs to mine, finally. Try to get this defiler. He does get that defiler. Dark Storm could come down, but he won't get a plague on this. In fact, he doesn't get a Dark Swarm either. So Lurker's going to stack up. Big clump here. See if they can bait Flash in for a fight. Not going to take it. Great control so far from Flash. An excellent control game out of him. First with the Wraiths to just shove everything back and do a little damage. And now with the Vessels just clearing out the Defilers. This is what I was talking about earlier. As long as you can keep a good number of Defilers alive and on the field, then you can uh, handle pretty much everything that the Terran player pulls out in terms of vessels and battle cruisers and marine medic. You just need to keep this in high enough number. Here we go, plague. Great plague in the middle of all of this. That's done so much damage. And now he can shove forward. And just take out this entire bio ball. Not really much you can do against that. The Hydras are just going to go to work. They have two armor already. So they can fight very, very well. We have cloaked wraiths on this side. But you can't really do anything with them. Tanks are starting to increment out now. We've got two factories. Second one does not have a machine shop though just yet. Coming forward with the irradiates. Gonna pick off three lurkers just now. More defilers loaded up into the natural. But the Wraiths are actually gonna start to pick these off. He gets one. Dark Swarm a little bit slow. 
to land on the correct unit there. He could go for a plague on this just to reveal all of the wraiths, and then they would die incredibly fast. Being careful not to run these in too close right now. As the tank marine army pushes forward, though, we have to back away. Jadon going to turn tail and run back towards his defilers. Another Dark Swarm forced out. But very quickly, the wraiths start to fall. And now with only two wraiths, he can't really threaten the defilers anymore. The defilers are a little bit too tanky to be thre under threat from just two wraiths. You just wander forward and eventually, or wiggle forward and eventually get the spells off that you desire. The two wraiths are not going to stop that from happening. They will eventually kill a defiler, but definitely not before it can get its spells off in any fight. Defiler has... Enough energy to take a fight here. The 6 o'clock base is going to be under threat, though. Flash getting down here. Could deal a lot of damage. We've got a small counterattack moving around the top side. A few lurkers. Defiler ready to attack. Assault that position. Going after the Science Vessel. Does a lot of damage to it, but doesn't quite pick it off. And loses the Defiler, unfortunately. Moving into position here, bringing the Lings and the, the Lurkers. A great plague on all of this. And the Lurkers going to burrow right in front of the tanks. These are two dead tanks, and this base will be cancelled. Excellent counterattack from Jadong. He's found himself in a pretty decent position now. Holding back Flash. Get it. Got his fourth base online. A lot of macro hatches rolling. He has some good upgrades. Plus one attack. Plus three armor is almost complete. 2-2 two, two is done here for Flash. And plus three attack is on the way. He's also upgrading into the tanks as well. How many factories do we have? We've got three factories. So this is what I've seen from Flash more recently as well. Three factory with Marine Medic Science Vessel. It's so strong. If you can get four gas. But he doesn't have that four gas just yet. He's going to be struggling to produce off of everything. Oh, great plague there as well. Lurkers running forward, getting on top of everything. He's going to jump on top of the tanks right now. Deal as much damage to them as he can and pull back out of the range of these Marines and Medics. Force them to engage with the Lurkers or fall back. And Flash chooses to fall back. He is a little bit tucked into a bit of a rough position. With another base going up here at the top right-hand corner. Jadong is going to continue to grow. Whereas Flash is stagnating at the moment. He has another CC finish. And he's going to come out and try to land in the middle. But that's already under pressure by Jadong. Who's just camping out here in the front. Oh, he forgot to put down another Dark Swarm or pull back. Fast enough. As the Dark Swarm runs out. He loses a couple of Lurkers. Which is a pain. But... As long as he gets this extra gas online here in the top right-hand corner, he's going to be fine. Three gas is all that Flash can muster right now. And he's got one, two, three factories and three starports. It's just not tenable, especially with upgrades on the way as well. Plus one is not quite done yet, but it will be done soon. A little bit of an engagement here in the middle of the map. And a defiler up in the top right to deal with this small counterattacking force coming his way dark swarm plus a few lings and hydras should be able to deal with all of this he's gonna run through but that's not really gonna do him too well meanwhile over here the tank count has grown quite significantly it's quite it's a scary army now plague oh gosh that plague is huge so much damage with that everything gonna get cleared here in the top right flash is holding strong in the center that's a lot of tanks Total is what? How many tanks we got here? 12. 12 tanks is a lot. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. 12 tanks is pretty scary. But he does... Oh, wow. He's even got more tanks down here. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting him to have not only 12 tanks in the middle of the map, but also four over on this part as well. That is going to be hard to crack. It's going to be a challenge for sure for Jadong to get through there. But, oh god, he's just wasting Hydras in the middle of the map. Things are maybe starting to fall apart for Jadong here. I thought that he was doing very, very well until I just saw those Hydras run in and die like that. Nidus Canal is under fire. He must keep this base alive. It is critical. 
A couple of lurkers do pop out and Burrow sh or should seal the deal with the Dark Swarm and Lings here. Yeah, he will clear all of this up. Some more reinforcements coming this way. But now that Jadong has the Defiler here and some Lurkers, he should be okay. Another great D-Matrix. Trying to keep that alive as long as possible. But Jadong quickly focuses it down and pulls back. This base has not been destroyed. Neither counterattack working here. Both players kind of wet noodling at each other. Just kind of nerf, nerf bashing each other. Not really dealing any damage. Uh, and kind of falling back onto their own sides while trying to expand. We have a fourth base for Flash, but again, it's not the gas. Which is a real problem. That's funny. SCV and Defiler taking a little truce there at 12 o'clock. While this army bashing away at each other here in the middle of the map. A small, I was going to say, small counter-attacking force of Marines moving around the top. But this is a lot of tanks. Flash, if he loses all these tanks, he would be in a very bad position. He needs to gather his forces together before he loses all these tanks. Uh, with no marine support, he will lose those very quickly. Oh, the lurkers on the backside blocking the marines from coming out to assist. And all of these tanks go down. This is a massive mistake from Flash. Oh, dude. He was looking so good. He was looking so good. If only he had sieged up on this high ground rather than moving all the way into position right off the bat to try and hit this base. He might have been able to pull his marines and tanks together, but now he's moving out with what little remains. It's not much. Well, it's still quite a few tanks, but I mean, he lost like 12 tanks. He lost so many tanks. Now he's pushing forward here in the middle. Imagine if he had those extra 12 tanks right now. The uh, amount of uh, DPS from that would be almost uh, insurmountable for Jadong to fight back against. But now he kills the Nidus network. Jadong is going to uh, start to clear these Marines. Will he be able to get on top of the tanks though? This is quite a scary force. The Marines are acting as the anti-air. It's not like we can just trans switch into Mutas and try to overwhelm this. Maybe if all the Marines die, it could happen. But a counterattack is going to come in here to the, the, the fourth base. This is a great move. Uh, a second time's the charm here for Jadon getting in and doing it again. He will be able to deal quite a bit of damage. However, this base is going to end up falling. Jadon losing control of his mineral only. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but he needs another Nidus to the top right to connect these bases again. Uh, otherwise, he might end up getting split and broken somewhere. Nidus Canal has finally started. We'll be getting that operational pretty soon, but Flash is once again on the move. Waiting for these lurkers to clear out. Flash still hasn't taken another base and it's getting dire. No minerals in the main, no minerals in the natural. Fourth base is under threat. Oh, the siege up a bit late here. Hydra's jumping on top of everything. A great D matrix there on the front tank. will force everything backwards. Lurkers and Defiler coming up from this side. Can he actually jump on top of this and get the Lurkers to connect? I don't think so. Maybe he could get a big plague on the tanks in the back. That would be huge as well, but no. Dark Swarm finally does come down. Dark Swarm at the front here as well. That will slow down things for Flash by quite a significant amount. But Marines are going to try to run by here. Deal some damage to the hatchery. Lings are coming out to help with that. But that will be denied for now. More reinforcements making their way to the front. And it looks like Jadon is going to hold on for the moment. But can he break this tank line? More reinforcements coming up. If he can't break it right now, I, I'm feeling a little bit grim about his chances of getting out of here. Lurker going to move forward. It does manage to burrow just barely in time. It may need an irradiate to deal with it. And it does receive one. Lurker egg made right next to the tank. Is that actually going to kill? <laughs> That's a sneaky move. Lurker egg made right next to the tank to bait the splash damage onto the other siege tanks. Pretty sneaky stuff. I like to see it here from Jadong, but he's actually losing position over his natural he needs a dark swarm at least a plague needs to go down he lost his defiler there at the back 
with the amount of fire bats that are here, he can't really utilize Dark Storm, but he does. After sniping the fire bat, oh, the hatch goes down, though. Do we have a plague? There it is. Plague goes down on the Marines, at least. But the Hydras are just not enough. 3-3 three, three is done, but the 3-3 three, three of Flash is holding strong. Looks like Jadong will have to back up to this base, defend from the uh, inside the main. Oh my gosh. Tons of irradiates going down, actually hitting every Hydra. Can Jadong hold on? He's going to try and take this base while holding this, but he's got nothing here. If Flash goes in right now, he would actually lose this base. Looks like Jadong's setting up for a counterattack potentially. But he needs units in here. Where are the Defilers? Where are the Hydras? He's going to go maybe just target down the Nidus. No, the Nidus is standing here, standing strong. Where's the Defiler? I don't see one. He doesn't have a Defiler. If he had one for the Dark Swarm right now, he would probably hold this position uh, at least long enough to get more reinforcements going, but he's still holding on. Hanging in there. Some Lurker's going to be made out of these irradiated Hydralis. That one's going to die for sure, this Hydra. No counterattack coming through that I can see. Flash is going to try and take 12. He's been on two base for quite some time. But he's done a great job of just hanging in and continuously pumping out tanks. It looks like he's so close to breaking this position. But I think we're going to have more reinforcements. There it is. Defilers. The Lurkers finish. It's like this uh, Lurker going to end up going down. The Defiler gets its ability before its own death. He should be able to consume a couple more units. But the tank number is getting scary. These tanks still shoving forward. I just on the top side getting gunned down. Plague could come out here. Dark Swarm going to be the choice instead. We've got Marines pushing in on this side. Another Marine force makes its way down to the bottom center. Jadong gets taken out. Wow. Flash sitting here on two base. I didn't think it was possible to pump out off of three starports and three factories. I still don't think it's possible, but he managed to make it work. Regardless of not having the full ability to produce off of all those buildings. The mixture of tanks and science vessel marine proving to be incredibly strong. And I don't know what you guys think, but I think this might be the play of the future. Flash might be showing us the way for Terran to beat Zerg in late game. Triple factory siege tank with upgrades and marine medic science vessel. It's like the extra or the added version or the upgraded version of SK Terran with just a little extra oomph coming from this the siege tanks and as you continue to fight over and over and for a long period of time slowly that siege tank count grows it's a lot more scale like the scalability of the tanks is just so much higher than just pure marine medic not only in Games where the opponent is going for Hydralis Defiler, but also in games when they go for Ultra. Having the tanks, it just gives you that extra little bump of damage that it needs to cut through these plays from Zerg. I love it. I like to see it. I wonder if we're going to see more people copying this style. Certainly, if he can take down Jadong with it, it's viable, at least to some extent. We're going to jump into our next game, guys. Don't go anywhere. Well, all good things do come to an end. And here we are at the final game of our series. The score is 2-2. Two to two. Jadong getting taken out in that last game. A little bit of a rough one from him. The three factory play from Flash looking very, very strong. It's time for the tiebreaker, guys. This is the last game of the night. And with that tied up score... You know, both these players are going to be giving it their all. Another early pool here from Jadong. Hmm, that is curious. Is he going to go for another six ling play here? It's really looking like that. Some sort of over pool play. Not exactly what I would have expected. Maybe he's hoping that Flash will go... CC first because he did go CC first against Jadong in the past. That is a fact. He pulled out some CC first stuff that put 
Jadong into a really rough position. And ended up giving Flash a couple of cheeky wins with mech play. So maybe that's the counter he's going for. I don't know. Flash doesn't really eight racks, or he hasn't from what I've seen. So I'm curious what the plan is. He's going to build two. Let's see if he goes for four. I thought he was going to go for straight up full six. But not going to be the case. Just two sets, it looks like, and a drone on the way. He built the gas there to kind of slow down the Ling production as well. His Lings are going to come across the map. But again, it's just a very small gap in the natural, which can't really be exploited too well. And with the Overlord here, he knows that that's the case. So probably not going to make much more than this. Four Lings is all we're going to see out of Jadong. Two SCVs, but an extra caution here from Flash. Doesn't want to die like he did in previous games, just to some pesky links. So, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't occur. Keep a very nice tight wall here. And as he sees the links are now chasing the SCV, he's going to return to work. Layer starts, but the SCV gets taken out. That's actually very good for Jadong. Now he can kind of hide something. Not sure what he's going to try to hide here, but he can try something sneaky now. His lair is halfway done. He doesn't have a Hydroden just yet. That's probably not going to be the play he's looking for. Uh, Lurker all in again. Not on in the cards here. And usually it's not with the early pool. You just don't have enough economy to make a play like that work. So instead, going to go for a Mutalist play again. No Lings in production. Unfortunately, these Lings out here in the front are not going to catch the SCV roaming in towards the natural. So that is quite unfortunate. He's going to get completely scouted here. And Flash just found himself an even bigger advantage in this game. He will not need to immediately start production of uh, commsats to figure out what's coming from Jadong and he's opening Valkyrie. Finally, we're gonna see this play. We haven't seen it since the very first game of the series where Flash ended up getting rolled by a Ling attack, by a, a Ling kind of aggressive play. Oh, coming back with these naked Marines who's thinking about walking across the map with those. But seeing more Lings out coming out and the SUV going down, he's just gonna decide to back up. It's a good choice. Just go on back home. We have Valkyrie behind this. I'm very curious to see if the Valkyrie will transition into a mech play because that is the way that Flash has been doing it and it looks super cool. It's totally different from what other strong Terran players like Light, Royal, Rush, none of them are really doing it like this. None of them are doing the uh, Starport play. What's this? Okay, Engineering Bay. Uh, None of them are doing the Valkyrie play like this into mech. Now, just because he's added on two more barracks doesn't mean he's not going mech here. It just means he's going to be pumping out some Marines. Let's see if he gets plus one on his attack. Even if he gets plus one, it's still not a full indicator that he's not going mech. He could just get plus one attack and then later switch. He's become very good at this. This is this is a... Uh, a new style that he's trying to work with. He's trying to figure out. I hope that this is the play that he's going to go for. Five turrets in production. A single Valkyrie on the way as well. His plan right now is to completely shut down this aggression. He wants to shut it down totally. Have these Mutalists deal no damage. And... Jadong have to make a quick transition. He's already got the Hydra stand on the way, so he is doing a very quick transition. But there may still be a moment for Flash to move out. Good snipes there in the natural, picking off a few Marines before their upgrades can come in. We don't have Stim just yet. There's the first Valkyrie. Checking things out. We have Scourge on the way, so there may be an opportunity. Jadong. Looking for snipes on those Valkyries so that he can hold back Flash for just a little bit longer. 
Flash is going to wait for a few more Valkyries to come out. And then he's going to transition into an attacking mode. He's going to come across the map and try to put on that pressure. Two Valkyries out. Is this the moment to move or will he wait for three? It's really looking like he's going to move out with just the total of two. Not moving far from the natural though just yet. Maybe wanting to wait a little bit longer. His control with the Valkyries has been very good in the series we've seen so far. Up to a certain point. It seems like he's very good with these initial couple of engages. And then he tends to focus on other things and let the Valkyries do their thing. Oftentimes they get sniped. It is what it is. He is of course improving over time. Increasing his abilities. Uh, as we watch, as we witness these games, it seems like F Flash is growing in power, but will Jadon be able to get the snipes here? Ooh, this is big, getting a huge hit, and all the Scourge die. That is painful. The Mute is now at a very low level of HP. 58, about the highest HP on any of these, and a lot of Overlords here as well. The Marines are pushing forward. To cover the Valkyries and three Overlords likely to fall here. This is really painful for Jadong, who is should be making lurkers. He is making lurkers, so that's a uh, a thing in his favor right now. That's something at least going Jadong's way. Uh oh, the Valkyries are actually kind of out on their own, getting a catch onto some of them. He kills two, but all the Mutalists die. That's quite rough. Now, we have a machine shop coming up. Looks like we're going to start producing tanks, most likely. And following up with a tank push. However, oh, wait a second. Dude, this Queen's Nest is very late right now. Did we actually see that? I'm not sure. Got a little hold position lurker. The Queen's Nest, very late. The Hive, late as well. So, if we don't have a good trade here... Oh my god, he's going to get so many kills. Jadong really loves his hold position lurker play, and he does it so well. He manages to get some really great connections with those lurker spines and picks off a lot of those forces. Now, the Valkyries can't really engage. There's enough Scourge here to stop them from killing off a bunch of Overlords. How many lurkers? Do we, we, don't, we don't have any lurkers here. Oh my goodness. Flash might have been able to bust this, actually, with the number of Marines he had. That's a little bit crazy. More liquor or more hydras are gonna pop out. Just two sunken colonies against this many marines. I think he might have been able to bust that. We don't have any marine upgrades, by the way, so we are gonna switch into factories here. Starting to punch out pump out some vultures now. And mech upgrades are coming, so it's absolutely that play. A hundred percent. The floating engineering bay is the dead giveaway to this. Lurkers finally going to be ready for the defense here at the natural, but kind of a missed opportunity there for Jadong, I'll say. He had a good shot to actually, or for Flash, excuse me, he had a good shot to maybe break the natural, but he didn't go for it. Let's see what he can do with a much more macro oriented play. He is going to get his fourth CC down here in just a moment. Needless here with zero kills. Will be picked off. Scourge going around the map. We're going to have a fourth base set down in just a moment. And a vulture drop. Interesting decision here. I wonder if he'll go for the main or will he try to come down here and lay mines everywhere? Maybe try to come in and shoot the drones from this corner. I think that might be the play. Scourge coming in. They're going to spot this third base. You should also see the floating engineering bay. Maybe even saw the floating barracks as well. I'm going to come up to the north. He sees SCV. Oh, there it is. Drop into the main base. Going after some drones. He's going to get three so far. A fourth goes down as well. More popping out here. Another gift for Flash. And what? Tap out? Oh my goodness. Well, that is crazy. Jadong just taps out? Oh, I am shocked. I am shocked that 
that Jadong decided to give up here. What is going on? What is this game? Flash is going to transition into mech. And Jadong lost just a few drones, like five drones. It's not like he couldn't reproduce. He could even cancel one of these hatcheries, get the drone back, and have some extra minerals to, to continue the drone production. Add that on later. That is crazy to me that he just gave up like that. Let's see the dropship get in here because I missed the actual unload. It's, oh, it's so painful, honestly, as the Zerg player to have something like this happen. Look at this. He comes in with the drop. You've got four Scourge right there. Two more there and another over here. You're all spread out. You're ready for a drop like this. All the Lurkers unburrowed though. And they, the Scourge just do not activate on this poor dropship. That is so sad. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. No, you know, I kind of understand this. I, I would have loved to see Jadong play this one out. I think he absolutely should have played this one out. This was not over by any means. He could have absolutely brought this one back. You know, he's getting all up into his upgrades. He's getting Carapace. He's making sure, you know, that he's going to have a future in this game. He's already got armor, uh, like ground armor on the way. He's got air armor on the way. He's setting up for a very nice late game. But the drop of vultures, just so sneaky here by Flash. Like, you just don't expect it. It's not the standard play whatsoever. We haven't even had any mines out yet. Like, usually you go mines first, at least, right? Go ahead, get the mines, lay them out all over the map. He did get mines, and he would lay them down in the main, but he just got so many kills with these vultures. It forces... Well, it doesn't force, but it pushes... Jadong to leave this game. Ah, oh, man. Guys, I'm sad about this one. I apologize to all of you guys out there who are hoping for a great game. I am in the same boat as you. I really wanted to see Flash do this transition and play this out in a mech, a, a big, long mech game with Jadong, of all people, to try and challenge him. He was going to definitely get onto four bases. He was going to have, you know, so much going on, so much economy. He just gets a little bit distracted here he gets a little bit uh, screwed over by this drop and man he just gives up that's crazy maybe all this talk i've been doing about jadong you know getting his head right and getting in the zone with his old competition J uh, flash being in the picture maybe i was wrong about that i don't know let me know in the comments down below guys what you thought of this series and that final game it's a little bit depressing, but this is how we have to end. So sorry, and I'll see you in the next episode, the next video that'll be coming out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you there.